Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's continue playing Portal Stories Mill on the hard series of tests. Huh. Now this is a room where they've tested if cubes are actually able to press buttons. It's, uh, some vital testing. A cube that can't press buttons? Uh, it's a total waste. <laughs> you should be able to slip through the door if it opens. Uh, don't stay too long though, those doors will close with 5,000 pounds of pressure. Oh, there it goes. Okay, through here. That after science weighted storage cubes have to be bulletproof. Well, that cube wasn't strong enough. I wonder if this area will be any tougher on uh offices hard. Are up those stairs. There are no cameras in this part of the facility, so Aegis won't be able to trap us. <laughs> Still, we've got to take him out if you want to leave this place. Anyways, if you go through the offices, I'll go through the service areas. Where is Virgil right now? Is it possible to get in here? Nope, I don't think so. Of course, we could just walk through the door like a normal person, but who wants to walk through a door like a normal person? Aegis is part of the facility. Uh, mind your head here. Uh, those metal plates will hurt if they hit you. Can you believe it takes six of those plates to make one cube? Ridiculous! Oops. You would think you might need a cube on hard mode, but uh, it doesn't seem like it. Aegis's lair. What an impressive sight. The power's been cut off here, but I think I can help. Just give me a moment. Yes, that worked. Let's get going. This reminds me of the day I ended up falling down into... Careful. Careful. There's a hole in the floor ahead. Just a bit further and we can get to the mainframe rooms. How do I get out of here? Where even am I? <laughs> what? Uh, this wasn't so hard last time. Do I need to pop a portal? Ah, uh, okay. And where do I put the other end? <laughs> Is it supposed to be this way? What am I... What am I doing wrong? I think I'm misunderstanding something here. here. Oh, there's stuff back here I didn't- no wait, no, that's where I was from. What am I doing? <laughs> Virgil? There should be a I could just climb through that window? That door to open it up. <laughs> Why can I place a portal here? Where- is this even- what is this even on? That's weird. Anyway. Would you kindly flip that lever? I did you flip it. <laughs> okay. I don't know why I got stuck on that. <laughs> oh wow. Well. And yes, Virgil, I'm ready. I wonder if there's a different achievement for 
completing the game on hard. Uh, look, Mel, um, uh, I just wanted to say something. I, I couldn't have done any of this without your help. If it wasn't for you, I'd still be stuck down there in the junkyard offices. Probably my battery backup would have run out in a few days. So, thanks. So, uh, let's get this done. Whatever happens, I believe in you. Really. Organic threat and mechanical threat number one detected in central hub. Countermeasures activating. All right, so. In order to get to the Aegis core, we need to turn on the power, unlock the doors, and replace the turrets. Once that's done, we should have a clear shot at Aegis. Let's get going. <laughs> that one went flying. Okay, speedrun strats. I hope this thing isn't any harder on, uh, the hard track. <laughs> okay, Mel, I'm reading that the generators are offline. Only way that the security systems can come online is to turn on those generators. But, according to my research, the manual startup is over in the control room for generator 2. And it's locked. The control room for generator 1 has a manual security override, though. Give it a try. What's the worst that could happen? Bad things? Okay, I was wrong. I was wrong. That was a bad idea. The security systems kicked in. You can't open the doors from the inside anymore. Hurry, find a way to turn that other generator on and then... Wait, you just... How did you... Well, I guess manual bypass does work, doesn't it? <laughs> Good work. That's the first part. The security systems are now online. Oh, wait. I didn't think this through, did I? Oh, they, they already opened for me. Uh... Can I jump this? Oh no, I do that. Duh. Okay, so now we do that. And alright, now that we have the power turned back on, we <laughs> need to go to the security room overlooking the bridge to the Aegis core. Now that the security doors have unlocked, we should be able to get there. There we go. Is there anything down here ever? Don't think so. So we are able to get down here, kinda. Easter egg? Nope, I think it's just death down here. Death and destruction. Okay, out the other areas we go. <laughs> That's weird. Alright, so, uh, I think that might not be as easy as I once thought. Uh, Aegis has done uh, quite a bit of. Okay, this might be different on hard. There we go. I think it's possible to jump over there, but I'm not sure that I should. Watch it! He's got another one coming! And I think this one took out the cap once before. Avoid those turrets, and get to the security room.
Let's see, what did we do with these guys? Alright, I know. We just gotta get in here now. Does that cube thing work? I don't remember. does. I wonder if we actually need this cube for anything. What happens if we put this here? Oh right, that reverses it. Okay. Uh, I think we have to go out. Yeah, 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 yeah. to break the game, but Our the game wasn't easily broken. Is those turrets. Remember how we pumped up the old turrets? This is where they might get useful. Head to the manufacturing line. Okay, here's the plan. We've got to take the turret production line down. So, there's about three ways I know to do this. The first should be easy and works most of the time. So that didn't work. Computers got a template for it, uh, which leads us to solution number two. Use one of the old turrets to overwrite the template. I can reprogram it to not shoot you. And before you know, you got an army. Ah, scratch that idea. Apparently, there are no diversity events here, which means I can't bring one in. I guess pumping up those turrets was a total waste of time. Lovely. So, third idea. We gotta override the targeting system on these ones. Manually. There's a targeting control room. It's nearby. Just be ready to run. I'll get the door open. Do we actually have to run? I wanna see what happens if we just run at this one. See on the other side, and just remember, the Nuremberg Olympics. Okay, so it looks like running works. <laughs> Interesting. There you are! I knew all that track running would do you good someday. Look, that wood model is what's causing the turret to shoot at humans. If you replace it with something else, they'll shoot that instead. Oh my! You're clever. Now the turrets will target the server banks instead of you. If we wait a little bit, all the turrets in this part of the facility should be replaced. Allowing you to finally destroy Aegis. Well, why don't you test if the reprogramming worked? Stand in front of the model, one of two things will happen. The first, they won't shoot you. The second, uh, well, it, it shouldn't come to that, just, just trust me. What's that little green dot above them mean? There you are. Alright! That worked! Uh, I knew that would work! 
Oh, I bet that tells you whether they'll shoot at you or not. Has it always been there in the game? I don't remember that from before. Now get back to the elevator room again. Time to bring the fight to him. Those turrets were automatically replaced by the system as it read that there was an update to the turrets targeting systems. Every update, they get replaced to make sure the turrets are the most up-to-date they can be, and to prevent hacking. Okay, looks like we're making good time to finish the game in this episode. So that's six episodes, whereas I think it took us ten episodes last time, but then again, these are, uh, half-hour episodes, and also, the levels are harder, too. Oh, that's the emergency exit elevator! Once we shut down Aegis, we should be able to use it to get you out of here. Unfortunately, hey, there are no management rails in there, so you'll have to do it without me. Th don't worry, though. I'll be watching from back here and help you if needed. All right, Mel. This is it. This is Aegis's server room. Get ready for this. It won't give up without a fight. Organic target detected in quarantine operation center. Preparing localized execution procedure. Well, it seems that he's booting up his security. He doesn't seem to know about the turrets yet. He'll be in for quite a shock. Oop, let me in. Careful, the water is electrified. Look at the damage that pumping up the water did. Almost a quarter of his servers are completely destroyed. Not bad for a simple maintenance core. A anyways. Try to find a way to the back of the room. There's a turret dispenser over there. Oh, oh, oh. Look up! There's a portal surface above the water pipe. You should be able to use that to cross over to the other side. the old turrets. Those still have the old targeting parameters. Ah, why did I pump those useless things up? Watch yourself. Interesting how it put out the fire even though... Um... What are we supposed to do in here again? I don't remember. What were we supposed to do in here? Oh, this is the portal surface. Duh, I think that confused me less. <laughs> wow, I got an achievement for electrocuting myself, apparently. Uh. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Watch yourself. Asphyxiation program. Draining oxygen. Lethal oxygen concentration in T minus four minutes. Okay, Mel. This is it. You have just a few minutes before all the oxygen is gone. You can't shut him down before he shuts you down. The entire facility will burn with the toxic goo that is still popping up. Oops, come on. Come with me, turret. Are you waiting for a great job? That's half the servers on this site blown up. 
There are a few more upstairs. Go destroy them too. Get upstairs. <laughs> Oops, come on. How do I get this guy? I gotta run over there, I guess. we don't have much time left. I know, I know. From there, okay. Some shutdown. There we go. Well, guys. I enjoyed the harder difficulty. That was actually kind of cool. And it gave purpose to a lot of testing I wants. However, there was still that one broken test chamber. <laughs> actually, two. Yeah, there's still two chambers that are broken. That seems to be the user control interface. You can control its entire functions from here. I can walk you through some of what you need to do. First things first, stop the toxic goo from pumping up. We should be able to contain it in test shaft Lima whiskey. Oh wait, Mel. Before shutting this thing down completely, remember that there was a third target it was trying to take out? Well, we're not three, unless you can tell me otherwise. Try to see what you can do. Type, um, ping, underscore, target, underscore, list. Am, am I reading this right? Was this thing trying to destroy her? It was targeting GLaDOS? Mel, what have we done? GLaDOS killed every scientist in this facility before being destroyed by a tenacious test subject, this thing, Aegis. It was trying to finish the job and flood the facility to destroy her. Mel, we might just have given GLaDOS a chance to get back in power. How could we have done that? Why didn't I see it sooner? Well, if you want to get out of here, now is your best chance. You don't want to be around when she comes back online. You should shut down Aegis now. Needs a passcode? It should be around here somewhere. Take a look around. Twenty fifty-six. I've seen that number around a lot in this place. Strange. It's done. It's done. <laughs> Aegis is in its final shutdown sequence. Mel, come back to the lift. I can get you out of this facility.
Okay, Mel. The elevator is in lockdown until you put your portal device in the incinerator over there. Uh, Mel, I, I just wanted to say something. Thank you. Thank you so much. Really, if it weren't for you, I would have drowned at the offices in the junkyard. I'm so sorry about lying to you in the beginning. It, it was a pretty bad Cave Johnson impression. <laughs> anyway, this thing should take you out of here, back to your normal life. Well, whatever you can call normal by this point. I don't know exactly what's out there, but it should be better than what's down here. So, just enjoy the rest of your life. Look, the elevator is here. See you later, Mel. Well, last time my microphone was muted. And, uh, so I couldn't even talk about what I wanted to talk about after I'd finished the game. So, I do enjoy this game. I wish I'd played it on hard first. I- I didn't even know about the harder maps. And, uh, that would've actually fixed a lot of the issues that are in my review. I'm gonna have to go back into my review and edit it and let people know. And, uh, yeah. This is a great game. I'm actually subscribed to one of the people who made this- this mod on, a uh, on YouTube. I'll, I'll see if I can point them out in the credits, but yeah, this time, my microphone is not muted, so I can actually talk to you guys about my opinion of the game. <laughs> there- there were a couple of those exploits in here that I did point out, but other than that, it was- just, this was great, and the- the advanced mode fixed a lot of the issues that I was complaining about when I first played the game. So, yeah. My only real complaints are that the introduction was very long, and, uh... Actually, I think that's pretty much it. Well, oh, oh yeah, my other complaints, yeah, the long introduction, also the, the writing was not very good. It, it, the, the writing could do with a lot of work. But, pretty much everything else is really good in this game. I like it. Now it's loading the credits, right? Yeah, here we go. I'll need to find these people and subscribe to them on YouTube because, uh... I don't think I'm subscribed to them yet. I think I'm subscribed to this guy. Maybe. Definitely subscribe to Harry101 UK. I think a lot of people are. He's pretty famous. Okay. Well, guys. Next game that I'm playing, Aperture Tag. I bet you all saw it coming. <laughs> Not gonna- I don't know if I'll play it immediately, like, right after recording this. I might, but... We'll see. Won't even really make a difference for y'all. <laughs> But yeah, I'm excited to play After Tag. Apparently After Tag also has a, uh, community map stuff for it. Now, that's not in this game, because this game is just basically Portal 2 with new maps and, and stuff. Uh, there's not really any different mechanics in this, except for the, uh, the laser walls that overlap Emancipation Girls. And that's about it. So yeah, Aperture Tag's coming up next, and we might be alternating, after we complete the game, we might be alternating the Portal 2 Petty with the Aperture Tag Petty. But we'll see.
Oh yeah, I forgot about this part. So that's why the reserve power ran out. <laughs> well guys, that's been, uh, Portal Stories Mill. Very much enjoyed this game. Um, yeah. I've already said everything. <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs>